My name is Ross Ferens. I teach third grade math and science at Forest Lane Academy. When I was in high school, I think I decided I wanted to become a teacher. Both my parents growing up, they were teachers. Um, both of them taught elementary school for a long time. My mom still teaches elementary school now. And so I was kind of always used to educators being in my family. And I thought I'd try subbing. That'd be a good way for me to get to know either different districts or different schools. And my very first substitute job was here at Forest Lane Academy. Since the first time I subbed at Forest Lane Academy, I applied and I've been here ever since whether it's their academics or their behavior. I try to set very clear expectations for what they should attain and what they should be able to do. And I follow up and I hold them to the expectation. Every day I meet with certain students in a group and then the rest of the students have work that they're needing to do. There's a pretty clear rotation, again, back to the expectations. The kids know what they're supposed to be doing each day. The reason I implemented flexible seating was about just giving the kids a say in the classroom and allowing them to kind of pick what's comfortable for them. Because I think about myself and when I work, I want to be comfortable. I want to be sitting comfortably. I want to feel like I'm a good place to work. And kids feel the same way. I really like to try to take math and bring it to life and bring it to real world examples for them. I own a box trail and I brought him in. And then I know a teacher here, she has a pet lizard. And we compared what would be the weight of each of them. I try to go outside if it's nice as much as possible. And just kind of seeing that confidence for sure, even in third grade, even the kids I have at the beginning who maybe didn't like math or didn't understand math and just seeing that confidence build in them by the end of the year and knowing that I have a hand in that, that inspires me to, to keep doing what I'm doing every day. If they don't think I care about them, that they're not gonna really care about what I'm trying to teach them. So I try to make a personal connection with them first early in the year. I really wanna know the student who they are. I wanna know about them. For a lot of kids, I'm the first male teacher they have. And for some kids, I'm the only male influence they have in their life. So I take the responsibility very importantly. And I realize that my interaction with them is gonna kind of shape their view even of what a male role model would be. That's why I love this school so much in particular. Uh, is because of the relationships that you build with students and how much certain students really need these relationships as well. So I really value the relationships that I have with my students.